It's a big responsibility. I mean, do they need exercise? What about a bath? I don't even know what they eat. When I was looking after, I fed it mice. Yes, I just wish she'd killed them first. <laughs> Life is about trial and error. It's actually quite sweet. Don't ever put your fingers in the bath! <laughs> and be careful what you say to him. Doesn't like criticism. Mm, sorry, Dudley. And he doesn't like sarcasm. Oh, my God, he's so high maintenance. He should have got a pet that hibernates. Well, then I'd only see him half a year. Only if he woke it up. <laughs> anyway, I need you to take him to the vets while I'm on this field trip. Poor Dudley's claws need clipping so badly, he keeps falling off his perch. I don't understand why he volunteered for this field trip. I mean, you don't even know how to put up a tent. Nobody else would. The teacher who took them last year claimed the year fours tried to vivisect him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, um... There's something else I should have told you about. Yes? Well, he's been a bit sensitive about his claws ever since Sancha here upset it. I only took a cast off his feet. Yes, in cement. <laughs> <laughs> the whole experience left him with a bit of a foot complex. <laughs> Look, perhaps we should forget about the vet and just put him straight into therapy. <laughs> Wait a minute. If he's got really sensitive feet, then he's going to blame me for taking him to the vet. That's why you're going away, isn't it? So that you've got an alibi. Well, apparently they never forget these things, and I don't want them to hold a grudge against me. Well, what about me? Well, you don't have to live with it. Yes, but I don't like the idea of an animal not liking me. Oh, for goodness sake, you're not Cruella de Vil. <laughs> oh, stop! Don't move. How does a boy get so covered in mud? How do you kick about in the park on my way home? Shoes off. What was your father doing while this was going on? <laughs> Hi. Come on, Sancho, I'll drop you off home. Hi, Kate. Hi, Doug. I, I would kiss you, but, um... I'll be off, and uh, thanks for the favour, Alice. Is that a parrot? Ooh, I don't know. Let's ask it. <laughs> you don't know anything about them, do you? Well, I know they don't like having their feet touched. What? I've got to get his claws clipped. You could do it. I'm a doctor, not a vet. Yeah, well, surely it's just a question of scale. <laughs> All right, clothes off in the bath now. Not you. <laughs> no, I'm not kissing you either. Well, I used to kiss you when you had a mud pack on. Yes, that's because mine was green and scented with vanilla. A few blades of grass stuck in this. Anyway, I deserve a kiss because we won the match. 7-0. And they were lucky to get nil. <laughs> it means we are in the final! The final? Yeah. The final? The final? <laughs> no, it's still not doing anything for me. <laughs> muddy thighs. And there'll be a lot of muddy thighs in the final on Sunday. Oh, yeah. Ball comes in from the left. Doug Brook rises at the far post. Header, top left-hand corner. Goal! I... Yes! I... Get in! <laughs> I think you're forgetting that it's your son's birthday on Sunday and we're taking him for a birthday treat. What? Oh, I forgot. I, I know. We can have his birthday on Saturday. A day early? Yeah, he loves opening his presents a day early. Yeah, but a birthday is your special day. You feel special on your birthday, not the day before your birthday. You can bring him to the football. Me? Watch you play football? I wasted enough time on that touchline when we were together being ignored by you. I am never watching you play football again. Anyway, we're taking him to the circus. We are taking him to Le Cirque de Mystique Extraordinaire du Paris. But it's some sissy circus from France. He'll hate it. Just because there are no animals. No, what, what, no tigers, no lions, no sense of danger. What do you have to do for excitement? Take a book. <laughs> anyway, we already agreed. And it was Joe's choice. Uh, right. Yeah, right. I see your fingerprints all over this. You're using home advantage to unduly influence him. Oh, would I do a thing like that? We've never been in a final before. I, I, I'm sorry, I can't let the boys down. You know, it's team spirit. 
might win a cup. A cup? <laughs> Who cares about winning a cup? A tea set, maybe. <laughs> Just because you've never won a cup before. I've got a swimming certificate. For what? Doing a whip. <laughs> and it wasn't about competition, it was about cooperation. I was wearing water wings, I had a float, and my mother was holding me up. Cooperation? You are one of the most competitive people I know. I'm not competitive. I've never been competitive. Yes, you are. I'm not. You are. Not. Are. Not. What about Joe's present? Ah! Every year, without fail, you try and buy him a better present than me. I just happen to have better taste. Right, OK, right. Well, this year, we'll get him a present from both of us. A joint present? Mm-hmm. We can pick it out together. Go shopping together? Yes. Do you really think we'll actually agree on something long enough to buy him something? Only takes a few minutes to buy something. Exactly. <laughs> anyway, you start it. Don't. Do. Don't. Do. Don't. Do. Do. Don't. Oh. <laughs> I hated my birthday. I spent every birthday at home hidden under the duvet. Why? Fear of the bumps. Ah, the bumps. Yeah, for most of the year, no one took any interest in me. But on my birthday, it was like the entire school turned out to try and break my spine. <laughs> on my birthdays, I had sleepovers and my girlfriends came over in their nighties and we compared breast sizes. <laughs> <laughs> Can I come to your next birthday? <laughs> you see, girls are lucky. You're spared all those hard knocks and macho rituals that go to form the male character. You don't think because Joe lives with me that he's overdeveloping his feminine side, do you? Has he ever shown an interest in pastry? <laughs> no. No, I've got nothing to worry about. <laughs> I knew that. It's just I don't want Joe to become a man that's keener on sport than anything else. Did you know that men are five times more likely to change their wife than their football team? I just wish they were as keen to change their underwear. <laughs> Alice, you need to approve a painting for the foyer of that gym we're refurbishing. No. <laughs> you remember what Doug was like. Every Sunday he'd get up for his five-a-side football. I mean, Ted, what would you choose? Getting up on a Sunday morning and having a roll around in the mud or staying in a warm bed for a roll around in the hay? Well, it wouldn't be a roll around in the hay because of my allergies. <laughs> <laughs> How about this, Alice? Then again, I've never been a huge fan of sport. I played football once, but it was too violent for me. They used my jumper as a goalpost. How was that violent? I was still wearing it. <laughs> the sport I do doesn't end up in violence. What's that? Kickboxing. Kickboxing? Yep. And that doesn't end up in violence? No. It's violent from the start. <laughs> the idea is just to keep kicking each other in the head. Kick, 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 that's it, just kick. Just keep kicking, kicking, kicking until one of you stops and then the one that stops first is a winner. Or is it the other one? <laughs> Ham sandwiches aren't what they used to be, are they? And you're sure all that kicking to the head doesn't cause you any damage? No, no, no. I get my feet checked out regularly. Do you think you're overdeveloping your macho side? Oh, thanks. <laughs> no, what I mean, Jason, is what about balance? I mean, do you think you've also got a feminine side? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, my left side. It's always been a bit girly. I just... <laughs> get grip on spanners. <laughs> or reality. Um, Ted, could you keep Sunday afternoon free? Well, I was going to the park to feed the ducks, but recently they've been biting the hand that feeds them. <laughs> so... It's just that there's a chance that Doug won't come to the circus, so I wondered if you'd like to take his place. Me take Doug's place? Yeah. Joe's got a couple of friends coming over, so it'll just be me, you and the kids. Well, just you, me and the kids on a sort of family day out. Mm. You and me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll be there. <laughs> I'm your man. I look forward to it. <laughs> See? This isn't just an average circus. There are no tigers jumping through hoops of fire or chimps dressed in dungarees or budgerigars riding around on bicycles. And they don't make fun of people with disabilities, like clowns. No animals. So what do you do? 